Hi, I'm Bernadine Okura. One of the major challenges of implementing NGSS is assessment because existing science assessments weren't designed to capture three-dimensional science learning. The National Research Council started to address that challenge in 2014 by releasing a study outlining recommendations for ass assessing NGSS. Now one of the key findings was that instruction aligned with NGSS will naturally provide many opportunities for teachers to observe and record evidence of student learning. Built from the ground up to be an NGSS program, HMH Science Dimensions provides just those numerous assessment opportunities. This video focuses on formative assessment. In its study on NGSS assessment, the National Research Council pointed out that student activities that reflect three-dimensional learning include developing and refining models, generating and discussing and analyzing data, engaging in both spoken and written explanations and argumentation, and reflecting and understanding. These sorts of tasks are woven into the very fabric of science dimensions. Now, the results of these built-in assessments give you an on-the-spot assessment guidance that you need to plan effective instruction, rather than waiting for remediation. Now, to see just what these formative assessment opportunities are, Let's quickly tour a typical unit and a lesson built within it. HMH Science Dimensions embeds formative assessment focused on all three dimensions as well as particular dimensions. For instance, in this unit opener on middle school earth science, we begin with a disciplinary core idea focused assessment activity in which students use a topographic map to identify geological features. Now, in the electronic student edition, students can check their work to get an immediate feedback by clicking the check button. Now you, as the teacher, you'll receive digitally a report on all of your students, their answers to the question. So you can actually track their progress and adjust the future lessons accordingly. To check through the three-dimensional understanding, students can participate in a unit-long project. Now in this case, we ask them to predict how geological features near them will change over a period of time. Now to make use of this particular assessment in a formative way, you can ask students to turn in their work periodically. And as they progress, they'll progress throughout the unit's project. So lessons start with an engaging component. Experts advocate starting with a discrepant phenomenon or an unusual event. Now the discrepant phenomenon is an island appearing overnight and students are asked to explain this in writing or drawing. Now also, throughout this lesson, we'll ask students to record evidence in their evidence notebook to help explain this odd occurrence. You might want to review these notebooks from time to time as part of a formative assessment. In other parts of the lesson cycle, there are numerous formative assessment opportunities. To check student understanding as they explore the topic, Technology-enhanced items are embedded similar to what students are likely to see on high-stakes tests. In this case, you can see that there's a possibility for more than one right answer. Now, you also have completed worksheets from hands-on activities and labs that can also be critical forms of formative assessment that you can use. Now, formative assessment opportunities also are embedded throughout the lesson and these include interdisciplinary connections such as the map connection for calculating seafloor spreading. Once students have completed multiple explorations within the lesson, they have the opportunity to elaborate on what they've learned by choosing one or more of the four paths. Now each path includes formative assessment opportunities similar to those that you've already seen. This allows you to gauge student progress so that you can adjust lessons accordingly. 
We're looking for students to capture the big ideas and the science behind those big ideas. When students leave the classroom and they head into their careers, they'll have the knowledge that they can draw on the science and engineering process that help them navigate their lives, whether or not they choose a career in STEM.